I'm going to a secret beach called We Are Really Doing It. I'm literally crawling in some bushes. Okay, so something really awkward just happened. I can confirm. We are lost. This is the part of the video that I'm gonna spill a little tea on my hostel situation. Probably shouldn't do this one half either. Oh my God, I'm gonna slip down a clear. Hi friends, how are you doing today? It has been a few days, I've missed you guys. I have not vlogged in five or six days. Just to get you up to speed, after coming back from Theth, I sort of did nothing for a few days. I went to Vlora, I stayed at the beach for two nights, and now I'm currently in Hamara. Really relaxing, very local. I found Vlora to be very busy, and that is not my scene. It was very touristy, there was lots of bars, lots of restaurants, lots of clubs, things like that and I didn't love it. I totally do apologize for my disgusting sweatness right now. This is Hamara. It's a beautiful little coastal town on the Albanian River area. I'm very excited to be here. Where am I going? What am I doing? How am I? Not gonna, not gonna beat around the bush. I'm not feeling that great. I'm not really loving my hostel, which we'll get into later, but I've been told by my hostel owner, that actually the reason I'm so sweaty right now is because I just walked up what felt like a mountain and it's like 9 a.m. It's pretty hot, it's pretty sweaty, as you can see from my glistening forehead. I'm going to a secret beach called Filakuri Bay, and I've been told that the only way to get down there is by a rope. So this is gonna be interesting. And what kind of sucks is there's no pathway. There's like no actual path to show you where to get to the beach. We're on an adventure as always. Oh yeah, make sure you subscribe guys. We just hit 350. Let's get to a thousand by Christmas day, that would be amazing you guys are amazing thanks for keeping up with my vlogs my last two videos did really well one of them was literally named eating curry in serbia and it did the best out of any videos that i've ever had like put on the internet you can tell my day is already going to be interesting by the fact that i think i might be on someone's property we want to get down there that is where this beautiful bay is but I can't figure it out. The guy at my hustle literally just said, there's a rope and you need to professionally climb down the rope in order to get to this beach. And I was like, okay, that sounds legit. I'm gonna try. Like this place just kind of feels a bit abandoned right now. Not me having my hair half up, half with the hat on. It's not even on properly, but we're rocking it. I mean, this kind of looks like a path. And I'm kind of hoping it leads to this bay because I'm sweating. I wanna jump in the sea because the sea is really beautiful here. This is weird. This right here is a legit adventure because I'm on my own. We don't know where we're going. We're trying to find some cool beaches. We are really doing it. I'm literally crawling in some bushes. This does not make me feel good and there's spikes everywhere. Oh my effing God. Ooh. Ow, ow, ow. I can confirm we are lost. I've just bumped into a little donkey and I don't feel good about the situation right now. Also don't want to go past the donkey again. Okay, just for future reference, if you ever tried to come to this beach and you're looking for the pathway, this is not it. Like picture it in your mind, do not go down this pathway because there's just loads of spiky bushes and a donkey. I feel disgusting. I'm sweating. I've got crap all over me. I've been stung and stabbed about 50 times. What? What was that? Oh my God. Attempt number two to find this secret beach. The only other pathway, there's two part, there's three pathways. One leads to a restaurant, one leads to that donkey place. And this one hopefully leads to the beach. We are going to make this worth it. This is a sign that you can do anything, man. Oh. Okay, I can see the sea, I can see water, and it's also very slippery. Do not wear flip-flops if you're gonna try and come to this beach because it's not a vibe, guys. Like, if I'm being honest, can it really get more secret than this? Like, this pathway is crazy. My legs scratched to pieces, ow. Another scratch. Pathway, slippery as hell, but we gonna do it. Are you kidding me? We bloody did it, guys. Now, I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna get down, 
But look how insanely blue this water is right now. I'm so buzzing to be here. I may look like a crazy person right now, but this is already shaping up to be a really good day. Like the waters here are crystal blue. Seeing that donkey getting scratched on the leg was definitely worth it for this. So I am gonna head into the water now because I am so hot. Like, I don't know if you can see, the sweat on my forehead is is unreal right now guys and there's only about four people here right now so i think this is a really private beach and i'm excited to be here i'll probably spend like half a day here okay i'm gonna go for an actual proper swim now and this will be the first proper swim i've done since croatia let's go <sighs> That is just the best temperature. You know when you're hot and then you get in the sea. That's so nice and cold. Okay, the water is perfect. Oh, I can see a crab. Wow. I am so happy right now. Okay, so this is the part of the video that I'm gonna spill a little tea on my hostel situation. I stayed in a hostel in Vlora. And the hostel that I stayed in was just really unwelcoming and it was a bit weird. It was like someone's house and they had like rooms with hostel beds in it. This is totally like a first world problem because I get that people can't even travel right now, but this is my problem. I like to feel comfortable and I've stayed in some amazing hostels in the world, but I've also stayed in some really awful hostels. So I had that not so good hostel. And then I got recommended this hostel that I'm staying in at the moment. I'm not gonna say the name of it. It's just so dirty. Like I can put up with a bit of dirt, but there was like thick grime in the kitchen and the toilet is like black. And I didn't even feel comfortable putting my toiletry bag on the sink because I was like, it just looks like no one's wiped it in ages. My host is really nice, but he's almost too nice to the point that it's kind of bugging me. So like this morning, all I wanted to do after a workout was make a coffee and have my breakfast. And he was like, he just wants you to relax. But I, and I get that, I totally get that. But dude, I want to make my own coffee. I was going into the kitchen and he was like, what do you need? And I was like, oh, I'm just going to make some coffee. He was like, I'll get it for you. You sit down, like you relax. And I was like, no, 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 it's fine. I can do it. And then he was like, no, you sit down. I do everything and I was like, okay. He was like, what do you want? And I said, can I just get some hot water to make coffee? And then I went to get a bowl and he was like, what do you need? And I said, I just want to make my cereal. I just want a bowl. And he was like, okay, what do you need? And I said, okay, I need a bowl, a spoon. Can you get my soy milk from the fridge? Can you get the hot water from the... I was just like, this is ridiculous. I just want to quickly make my breakfast. And it just made me feel a bit weird yesterday. I got put in the lower bunk, which I love. There was no one in my room except another guy. And then at like eight o'clock when I was about to like sort my stuff out, he was like, oh, I have some friends that want to stay in this room. Do you mind moving? And I was like, uh, I guess, yeah, that's fine. And then I basically got moved to a little wardrobe with five other people. And that's, that's fine staying with five other people, but the room was tiny. Like it was tiny. And then I couldn't even open my suitcase out on the floor. I was like really sad, I was like, I don't like it here. It's dirty and it's not good. I'm just gonna spend my entire time out of the hostel. So that is a little glimpse into hostel life. We are on this beautiful beach. It's absolutely stunning. There's not many people around. There's some bloody kids that just came on the beach. Not happy about that. now and I'm going to attempt to climb up and kind of try and show you don't know if this is going to be too successful because I kind of might need two hands I kind of wish I had my head strap with me but I've had a really good day it kind of feels a lot safer trying to go up this 
is what it's like. Oh my god. Probably shouldn't do this one happy either. Oh my god, I'm gonna slip down a cliff. Okay. That is a beautiful beach. And I can kind of walk this bit. They've just put some rope on the side of a cliff. And this is pretty steep. Hello guys, so it is currently about 6.30. I skipped lunch and now I'm very hungry. I've just had a really good day at just chilling out pretty much, which I really needed a day like today. The beaches in Hamara are absolutely beautiful. So I have found a little sort of Western chip shop that does veggie burgers and chips. So I thought I'm gonna sit on the beach and eat that because I think that'd be really nice. To say I'm disappointed is an understatement. The guy just told me he has no veggie burgers left. And I'm just gonna watch this nice sunset whilst eating a veggie burger and fries, which is all I'm craving right now. So I'm gonna find somewhere else to eat. Okay, so I found somewhere to eat dinner and this is my view right now. Who couldn't be more single? Me, just joking. But I just wanted to talk about how difficult it is to be vegan in Albania. Like shout out if you are actually watching this from Albania and you're vegan because I'm finding it really difficult. This is the sixth or seventh country I've been in, in the Balkans, and it's definitely been the hardest. Mainly what I've been eating is pizza without cheese. The way I see it is when I go abroad, I have to accept that I'm not gonna have the same like Western foods. I'm not gonna have access to those foods. Someone's looking at me, this is really awkward. I'm just gonna look dead in the camera. So yeah, it's just all around very difficult. So I've ordered this mushroom risotto with French fries because everything else on the menu is seafood. In Albania, they have a really heavy meat and fish diet. Even at some locals I've spoken to, they said, oh, like, are you vegetarian? And I said, oh, vegan. And they've been like, oh my God, like, are you eating? And I've just been like, I am. But like most nights I order a vegetarian pizza with no cheese. <laughs> Okay, so that dinner was definitely a bit average, but it's fine. As I was saying to you, the food isn't that amazing here, but I'm sure there is really good food for people that eat meat and fish. It's just, Albania is just not very good for being vegan. I will say that. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the shop now and then head back to my hostel. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. I hope you are doing good. Did you sleep well? I slept very good. I literally think I gave myself heat stroke yesterday. After dinner, I literally just like passed the F out. Like I was so tired. And I think before I ate dinner, I don't know if it's because I had heat stroke or because I didn't eat anything all day, but I was feeling very tired, dizzy. I had a really bad headache. So I've brought extra water with me today. We are going on another adventure. A few moments later. So this is the current situation. I feel like an absolute right now. At the side of the road, broken down after five minutes, guys. What the hell? I just wanted some nice beach views today. I didn't do it, y'all. So I was literally driving for five minutes and I was absolutely loving life. I was driving down the road, looking at everything. And I was like, this is the best thing I've done in ages, like freedom. And then this beeping noise started happening. I was like, this does not sound good. Luckily, I'm only five minutes away. I just called them. The lady is gonna come out and see what's up with the scooter. Okay, so they eventually came out really quickly. And basically, there was a little doggy staring at me. So I'm basically an idiot and it was my indicators that were on. I'd accidentally turned them on. So if I turn on the engine and then I just press this little button here. Like that was all that was up. It's so annoying. The key is stuck. Oh my God. <laughs> Who let me have a bike, seriously? Can you see all those sea urchins? All those black things down in the water are sea urchins and they are spiky and they will hurt you. So I've just arrived here and it's just like one tiny little beach. So there's not much room to do some sunbathing. And it's, it's the thing about Albania I noticed, they just put rubbish everywhere and it really just ruined the landscape because it's such a beautiful country. But I've literally seen like kids throw rubbish on the floor. People literally, empty bin bags of rubbish into like the rivers and seas and I'm like 
what am I actually watching right now? It's really just disgusting. So I'm gonna take a little trek up to the fortress. The amazing thing about having a motorcycle is that I've literally just been like driving down the coast and just stopping at little beaches. Mommy, mommy. Following my iced tea, I ordered some fried potatoes. That's what they call fries here. And I just don't think it's a good idea to eat like a whole bowl of potatoes before you go sunbathing in a speedo. Okay, so I totally haven't paid for these sun lounges, but there is so many sun loungers on this beach and no one is laying on the sand so i'm kind of thinking maybe they want it to be like an aesthetic where they just let people sit on here for free because there's no bars or cafes there's just loads of beach loungers <laughs> been sunbathing for a bit and now I'm going in the water and it's actually so beautiful yeah I think this is one of the nicer beaches that I've been to Okay, so something really awkward just happened. So just as I was leaving, I was packing up my things and bearing in mind, I was literally there for like three hours on that sunbed. I literally just said like two minutes ago in the vlog, no one's asked me for any money yet. Cause usually you go up to some guy on the beach or you go to a bar and if you buy a drink, then you can sit there. And then just as I was leaving, someone came up to me and was like, oh, have you paid in the hotel? And I was like, what are you talking about? Cause the, 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 the beds were actually like not in front of the hotel. So I didn't think they were part of the hotel. It was just very confusing. Anyway, I just said, I don't speak English and he walked away. So I was like, okay, that was just really weird and awkward. We have reached Borsch. I'm not going to drive down there because I've only got a little bit of petrol left. So I think that will get me back to Hamara, but thank you for hanging out with me today guys and in this vlog in Hamara I really hope you have enjoyed this video so let me know in the comments down below like what length of videos do you want to see like 10 minutes 12 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes 60 minutes an hour no I, I don't think I could do an hour because you'd get like one a month so make sure you hit subscribe if you've enjoyed these videos and you want to see more of them also don't forget to go follow me on Instagram at Dane Luca to see daily updates I post a lot of random stuff on there guys so you're gonna to want to check it out and yeah take care and peace out <laughs>